Hi, welcome back to a brand new video of the Targeted Individual Program. Targeted Experience of the New York Predator Department and their criminal, fanatical cult members are at it again. Uh, yesterday I called the uh, doctor's office and had them re uh, submit my prescriptions to the Walgreens Pharmacy that I usually go to pick up my prescriptions. Uh, this morning, again, I got another message saying there's an issue with my insurance, okay? Then I just received, uh, um, and actually I had a, I got a phone call and it says Western Union. I'm like, what Western Union? I'm like, who comes from Western Union? You know, usually when I get a call from Walgreens, it'll say Walgreens, but they left a message and it was Walgreens, but it was a different Walgreens. Now, I was on the phone with the doctor's assistant yesterday as she resubmit the uh, prescriptions. And and I, and I asked her, I said, are you sending it to the one I usually go to? She gave me the address. She said, yep, that's what she sent it. So apparently, I guess the cult member at the cult members at the uh, that work in the pharmacy at the Walgreens I usually go to, uh, you know, they got busted. Right, deleting my uh, prescription out of the system, the new prescription from the doctor sent in out of the, uh, out of the system, which they're not supposed to do, which is illegal. All right, and I got them on video. Right, not only did I got them on video, but I got here upstairs neighbor. <laughs> right, got I I, I I recorded just to document it, like I like I said, like I always do. Right, because I know that this is never ending. So they send, so they send the, so I guess they, you know, I guess they don't want me going to that Walgreens anymore. So yeah, you can do it. I didn't make any spitting sound. Psst, psst. <laughs> I mean, t -t. right? That's what they're doing out there. All right, I should tell you, whenever I expose them, this is what they do. Um, but I'm going to call that pharmacy and I'm going to have them send the, the, the prescription over to the other pharmacy because it's just more convenient. The other pharmacy they want me to go to, I have to um, walk, right? Whereas, I mean, I have to walk a couple of blocks to get to my destination, you know, because right? it's, it's still along the way, but, you know, the one I usually go to, I just get off the bus, go across the street, get my medicine, and then get back on, get on the other bus, and, and that's it. But they got to make your, your life inconvenient in whatever way, Okay. It could be the some of the smallest thing to the biggest thing. This is what they have to do, right? Now, the last time that they sent in the prescription, uh, you know, like I said, I got a text, I got a call, and then you know, you have, you had the same thing. Oh, we have issue. We had issue with your insurance, what have you? And they never called me back. They never called me back, right? So that shows me that the people that work in that Walgreens, they get in that pharmacy the perps there because they're being exposed and because I'm exposing them yeah I'm gonna expose you because what you're doing is criminal what you're doing is against the law right and again because they figure I feel I believe that because the dark triads and the cult leaders and other cult members in the New York predator department right have their back that they can do whatever they want to do Right, they can break the law however they want to break the law. Right, they can conspire against me and other, every other TI. This is this is what they do, right? And again, it's criminal, right? Conspiracy against one's rights. Okay, not only that, but also remember that um, the other TI in Cal the other TI in California, uh, one I usually communicate with, um, she was telling me that what. A lot of these pharmacies are doing, right? They're getting, they're, they're um, using uh, people with disability, uh, people who's on Medicaid and Medicare, and that they are giving other people their prescription. They're selling prescriptions to people who uh, need the same type of medicine but can't uh, afford it because you know they have no health insurance. Right, so this is what they've been doing. So again, we're talking about an organized criminal organization here. All right, and those within 
the present department across America. Yeah, some of them are a part of it. The doctors, the pharmacists, they're a part of it. Right? It goes all the way up. Alright, so that being said, talk to you guys in the next video.